Oh, look at the blue finish. That is so cool. I wore this Casio Juro non-stop for watch of the week and now have some compelling observations to share. And after my review of the Duro, we're going to be using my screw down watch press to install a gorgeous domed screen lens mod, as well as test fit not one, but two different strap options that I can't wait to reveal. So stick around to the end. In case you missed our Duro unboxing video, a reminder that this is my very first analog watch review. That's right, my entire watch collection so far has been digital. So let's start my review with the cons. What did I dislike about the Duro? Well, for a start, Casio used this generic set of instructions which are not specific to the Duro. So look at all these different modules that the instructions apply to. None of the pictures match because they've just copy pasted the same instructions. And the most important step for a new dive watch owner is all the way down here for which it says some water resistant models have a screw down lock and with such you must unscrew them, which I didn't see and went on a wild goose chase trying to pull out this crown without knowing to unscrew it first. So Casio, this needs to be step number one. Secondly, it's definitely harder to read these analog watches in the dark than it is with the handy backlight of a digital watch. I found that the loom on the hands simply did not compare to a backlight. And speaking of loom, there is no loom on this little date window here, so it was really hard for me to read in low light conditions such as when I woke up in the morning. And once an hour at quarter past, you can't even see this little date window because the minute hand perfectly covers it. As a digital watch wearer, I'm so used to knowing the precise time at a quick glance. But over the last one week with the Juro, I really noticed that extra processing time as my pea brain had to work out the analog time. Another inconvenience I had to get used to was the comparatively poor timer functionality. So if I wanted to set a timer for like five minutes, I'd have to scroll it all the way around. And then I found that sometimes I'd overclick it by a minute and then you can't go back and you have to start your timer all over again. Now let's compare that to say this GD350. Check this out, shortcut timer key, boom. I've just started a five minute timer. Now I did give this timer a chance while I was cooking a steak, but I found that it was just a bit too imprecise and also got a little bit slippery. Also, she's gotten used to it now, but Bubble used to hate the noise that this bezel made and it used to really upset her whenever I adjusted the timer. When asked whether you'd prefer to wear an analog or digital watch, most of you guys voted for analog in the last video. However, now that I've worn this watch for a week, I feel qualified to say that my preference is still gonna be digital. The Duro has no AM or PM, no alarm, no day of the week, no countdown timer, an inferior backlight, and an inferior battery life. Overall, I found the Juro is just less convenient than a digital watch. But here's the crazy thing. Despite all of these shortcomings, I still love wearing this watch. Ram the like button because here are the pros of the Casio Juro. The MDV-106 looks magnificent and gives off a premium aura despite being a very affordable watch. It's also got a nice weight to it and feels incredibly premium on the wrist. I absolutely adore the Marlin logo featured on the face and case back of this model number. The straps are incredibly comfortable on the wrist and are also extremely easy to remove, which you're going to see shortly as we mod them. The date is nice and obvious compared to some digital watches where it may get buried amongst other functionalities. The alignment of the rotating bezel with the minute markers is absolutely impeccable and I found that it clicks twice before aligning with the next minute. If you want to get your hands on a Juro Marlin like myself, I'll leave a link for you below for the same place I got mine for the best price. Now just before we get into modding the Juro, the Watch of the Week community poll is now open. On the left we have the AE1500, a great Casio watch which has just been re-recommended by a viewer. And on the right we have the LF20W, which I have quite the story to tell you of how I acquired this one. To cast your vote, head over to the Goat Reviews YouTube profile, click on the community tab, and there you'll see the poll to cast your vote. 
All right, make sure you've rammed that like button because now it's time to get into modding our Casio Juro. And we are going to start with our lens upgrade here. So this is a blue domed AR crystal. Now it is not a sapphire one. However, this will still be a very nice upgrade. There you go. Can you see that nice dome on the lens there? That's going to look magnificent when we install it. So I'm just going to put that in here for now. We're going to debut for the very first time our little case opener, which we got off, I think it was AliExpress for just a couple of dollars. So I'll leave a link to all of the tools we use today below, but let's get this thing out and give it a shot. So we're actually going to just put a bit of plastic. This is what came with the lens. We're just going to pop that over it so that we don't scratch it. Beautiful. And all we need to do is disconnect the crown. So we're going to start by unscrewing the crown. My big learning from the unboxing video. Now there should be a little tab or button just around here that we can press to release the crown. I should probably use a wooden toothpick actually. Oh no. Uh oh. That is not good. I've just bent that in too far. That is really not good. All right, so I figured out what I was supposed to press down. It's that tiny little dot just there. But what I've actually done is pressed this little lever all the way in and it's now bent. And I've, che I've tested and now the crown won't actually press in properly, guys. Oh, there we go. The crown is out, but of course we are going to have to figure out a way to fix that. Okay, that's looking a bit better, a bit like what it should, but uh, the only way to find out is going to be when we actually reassemble it. There we go, that's more like it. There's our housing. Now, as you can see, it's just press fitted in. We didn't actually need to remove the rotating bezel, which is very handy indeed. Look at that. What a press. That is nice and flush and I am loving. Oh, look at the blue finish. That is so cool. Yeah, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So now let's get this all back together. And we might have to press down on that pin while we install it. I'm so relieved because we did bend that part, but that seems like it's doing it now. Let's just have a quick look. Is it? Oh my God. It's ticking guys. It's ticking. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. See, when the light hits it just right, you get that blue reflection. Very cool. Now, this is a tough call to make, but I have noticed a little speck of dust. I really should have used the blower. We are going to reopen it and just blow that out of the way and get it all back together. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, look at that. 
All right, super happy with the lens now. And I'm also glad that I actually went back in and got the dust out or I would not have been happy with it. So in our freshly modded lens watch, we are now gonna put on a new strap and I've got two options. We're gonna start with this cool NATO strap. This is a 22 millimeter black NATO strap with silver buckles, which I thought would match perfectly with my black and silver Juro. Isn't that just beautiful? NATO strap, matching silver buckles. What an incredible watch. Now, if you think this NATO strap is cool, just wait until you see this other strap that I wanted to surprise you with. So you remember that I said I just love the Marlin on the face there. Well, check this out. This is a metal buckle clasp with none other than Mr. Marlin himself. Oh yes, that is gorgeous. Perfect match for our little fellow there on the front and even on the back. So to use it, it's actually got a little safety, which is we pull that open and then we can deploy it with this button. So I reckon we're gonna have to remove two off each side at least. So, oh. Right, okay, so it's not a spring bar, it's one of those push-out hammer type ones. Yes, that one's in. Beautiful, how does it look? Oh, look at that. What a match. Guys, I am so pleased with how this strap upgrade and the lens upgrade has turned out. Just look at how magnificent this watch looks now. But what did you prefer, the silver Marlin buckle clasp or this cool black and silver NATO strap? Make sure you're a subscriber because I've got two new mod videos coming out for this very Juro that you're not going to want to miss. I've also hidden a little teaser of an upcoming mod and I'll give you a clue, it's something to do with the watch box. So let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. If you'd like to buy any of the mod parts or tools that I've shown you today, I've left a convenient list for you in the description below. And this video is not sponsored, so using any of the affiliate links really helps the channel. Like the video, share it with a watch lover and don't forget to vote in our community poll for watch of the week. Here's our Watch of the Week playlist and a related video for you to watch next. A huge thanks to all my subscribers, especially the GOAT crew for supporting the channel. Here's a link to our Patreon to show your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.